Watson is back with the top 5 BLM activists. You probably don't know about them. After the death of George Floyd, the BLM movement reignited and inspired a new generation of activists across the globe. They are young, fearless, and ready to rebuild the system. Today, we discuss the 5 Black Lives Matter activists. First on our list, we have Erin Chambers. In June, Erin Chambers watched a TikTok video from drag queen online Kind talking about how statistics are manipulated to make it appear that black Americans are more violent. So the elementary school music teacher from Nap, North Carolina opened up TikTok and added her own commentary in song form. Black neighborhoods are over police, so of course they have higher rates of crime. And white perpetrators are under charge, so of course they have lower rates of crime. And all those to be statistics that you keep using are operating off a small sample size. Number second, we have Rachel Cargill. In 2017, at the Women's March in Washington, Rachel Cargill posed holding protest signs with a friend and activist Dana Sushal in front of the US Capitol. If you don't fight for all women, you fight for no woman, said Cargill. She also said, I don't want your love and lied with the dial. Number three, we have John Legend. Following the death of George Floyd, Breonna Tyler and others at the hands of law enforcement, singer, songwriter, and law long-time social activist John Legend raised his voice to the anti-racist struggle, offering a Twitter primer on the defund of police movement and campaigning for Florida voting rights with Camilla Cabello. Fourth, we have Ilzelma Ola. Ilzelma Ola, who for years has been writing and speaking on race, saw interest in her work store after Floyd's death. Her 2018 book, So You Want Talk About Race, capitalized her on too much for years. Mediocre, the dangerous legacy of white male America is about white male supremacy which Olo calls one of the evilest and insidious social constructs in Western history. From the violent takeovers of the indigenous lands and the genocide of native people to generations of trauma and loss from anti-black racism. Fifth, we have Brie Newsom back. In June 2015, long before today's protest topple monuments to Confederate, Brie Newman Bass scaled a 30 foot pole on the grounds of the South Carolina State House and removed the Confederate flag. This non violent act of protest followed the massacre at Emmanuel Africans Methodist Episcopal Church in Charleston. Eight black parishioners and their pastors were killed by white supremacists who posed with the Confederate flag. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned with Watson.